everybody, this is Jill Smith with the Jill Smith team here in Northwest Houston. And I have Doug Lusa here with me again. He's one of our local lenders that the Jill Smith team prefers to work with. And we are here today to give you a market update. There's a lot of news out there. Um, are the sky falling? Are prices gonna drop? Are rates gonna continue to go up? So there's really a lot of uncertainty out there. I get questioned about it every day. And um, with the media, you just, you know, you hear different stories on different channels. So we're gonna try to put a lot of those concerns um, to rest today with actual information that we're bringing to you from the real estate and the mortgage industry directly. So, Doug, welcome. Thank you. Appreciate having you here again and appreciate you taking the time to talk to my team today and our followers on social media sure. as well. So, a number one question, um, is the U.S. in a housing recession or a correction? And what would be your answer to that and how would you explain that? First of all, that is a pretty awesome question because I'm hearing, and like a lot of you out there are hearing, are we in a recession? And then now you're starting to hear other words like maybe it's not a recession, maybe it's possibly a correction. So what is, in each market's different, but for the most part, speaking for the U.S. and speaking for our local market here, um, we're in a correction. And so the numbers are what you look at to determine if it's either a recession or a correction. Mm -hmm. And so what we're seeing is home values in July went up 9.9% compared to one year earlier. Mm -hmm. And in a recession, values aren't going up, they're going down. Right. So a correction is when the number of sales that we had last July were higher than the number of sales we had this July. And that is the case. We have less homes on the market, uh, less buyers are out there buying them, so there's fewer sales, but the values are still up. And the home sales went down, what, 17% in July compared to last year? Yes. But so yet home values are still going up. Home values are still going up. So that's, if I'm looking to buy a house and I know that values are still going up, then I feel a little bit better about the fact of, you know, taking this opportunity and this chance to go ahead and buy a house. If I know values are coming down, 10%, 20%, 30% that I want to wait. I want to sit on the fence and just see how low they're going to go. And through year to date, 2022, values have not come down. They've right. only gone up. Now, not at record paces like the previous two years. That's why we're in a correction. Right. And I have people ask me daily, at least weekly, about, you know, then why are we seeing price reductions in houses? And you, know, you and I talked about that a little earlier today. And I think the answer to that question is the price reductions do not reflect um, home value depletion or decreasing. The price reductions are the correction because people are unrealistically listing their homes at a higher price based on the market that we had three, four, five, six months ago, a year ago. Um, because people, I mean, I had somebody pay $100,000 over list price on a house. We're not gonna see that now. Things are normalizing, which is good for buyers. I mean, it was very hard for us to get buyers into homes last year, first part of this year, because there were literally multiple offers in every single situation and almost every house sold for over list price. So in my personal opinion, the price reductions that you're seeing are just as a result of the house being over listed, overpriced from the beginning. But home prices are definitely increasing. And two examples that I can give you um, yesterday and today, I had a second follow-up listing appointment with two clients whom I met with last summer. And in both cases, the values of their home have drastically increased since last summer. Um, one house, the values increased around $50,000, and the other house has increased closer to $100,000. So, you know, we are definitely still seeing prices increase, and mm -hmm. the forecast and the prediction from all of the experts in the real estate and mortgage um, industry specifically not just your, your local or national news, is that home values are going to continue to increase for at least the next five years. And that's so, exactly what we're seeing too, and to your point with the values of those two examples of the houses going up, um, that's great for sellers. You know, you're still in a seller's market today. There's fewer homes uh, on the market, so that does help a seller to list today. Values aren't coming down. But what's good for buyers is we're starting to see, like you said, price reductions in markets. Uh, or in communities where maybe the price was uh, too high. And so if you're a buyer and we're starting to see one out of five homes now, we're seeing uh, value, getting a price deduction, mm -hmm. that kind of encourages me as a buyer um, to know that, hey, you know, unless it's priced right, and you're gonna know that working with your agent, mm -hmm. that, you know, put that contract down, but if it's not priced right, maybe you're gonna get a price reduction and 
have that opportunity. Well, and another big reason why we're, we're not seeing the multiple offer situation is not just an indication because mortgage rates have gone up a little bit and we'll have Doug talk about that in a minute, but we also have more houses on the market now. Um, when we were at the height of this frenzy and the seeing multiple offers, we literally had two weeks worth of inventory on the market. So buyers didn't have any choices. You know, they had, if they wanted that house, they had no choice but to pay at least full price or over price. And there were always multiple um, offers on every home because of the lack of inventory. Now we're at two and a half months worth of inventory. So two weeks to two and a half months, that's a huge increase. So there's a lot more houses on the market. So that's why it's more important today that sellers price their home correctly from the beginning because buyers do have choices. But it is still a seller's market. Six months is an average market. So two and a half months is still a seller's market. And for those of you that don't know exactly what that means, two and a half months means that based on the rate that homes have sold over the last 12 months, it would take two and a half months to sell everything that's currently on the market. So that, that's definitely helping buyers, but again, it's still a good seller's market as well. Absolutely, and some other things that are great for buyers today. Um, down payment assistance, if you're a first time home buyer, and I think we'll do another segment, so stay tuned for that. Um, but if you're a first time home buyer, there's some programs out there that are really, really great. Uh, there's a newer one that we're starting to work with called the Mortgage Credit Certificate that I <laughs> talked about in your meeting. And it is so great that it will actually help give you a tax incentive at the end of the year to go against your income tax that you would pay. One example that we just uh, had happen for a customer that closed last month was a $218 monthly savings, uh, tax savings that they were able to get. So over 12 months, they're getting back over $2,400 a year because they qualified as a first time home buyer uh, and they were under the income range that they needed to be. But we'd love to talk more and go more in detail than that yeah, in the next segment. For sure, absolutely. Well, guys, we appreciate you taking the time to watch our video today. Hopefully you got some great information that will help you make a informed decision on whether or not to buy or sell in this current market. And as always, you know, feel free to DM me or reach out to me directly at 281-704-3749. Jill Smith with the Jill Smith team. Um, Doug, why don't you provide them your contact information as well? Awesome. Doug Lizier here with C&G Home Loans um, here in Cyprus. Our direct team line is 832-575-2210. Okay. Thank you guys for tuning in and reach out directly if you have any additional questions. Thanks.